All right, what's up everybody? It's the Eerie Better Beer Bureau, back at you with another review. I'm Dave, Mark, and Maury. Today we have Otto from Hair of the Dog out of Oregon. This is a newer beer from them. It's basically their Fred, brewed with peaches and cherries, and then it ages in oak barrels for 18 months. Ooh. So, we're gonna get into this one and let you know what we think about it. <laughs> Wait, is this bourbon barrels? Cool. It says oak, but I'm pretty sure it's bourbon barrels. I mean, because wow. I'm getting bourbon. Yeah, it's, it's, it's bourbon in your face. Wow. This is like bourbon Fred with fruit. With fruit, Honestly, yeah. this smells amazing. Though. I'm getting a hint of a cherry. I'm getting lots of cherry. And I'm getting Plums. bourbon like in your face. Yeah. yeah. Dark yeah. fruits. A little sweetness like sugar. Oh, a lot of sweetness, actually. Ooh. Wow, that is awesome. One of the best smelling beers I ever smelled. Yeah, dude, it <laughs> smells fantastic. It smells pretty boozy too, man. I mean, and not <sighs> from the bourbon. I mean, it has a general booze yes. aroma to it. <clears throat> I'm really loving the smell of this beer. I mean, dude, what's the ABV on this thing? It's at least ten, if not more. Oh, just look on the bottom. Thirteen percent alcohol oh, right. for shizzle. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I get lots of cherry, plums, oh, raisins, man. a. Bunch of bourbon. Bunch of bourbon. Wow, wow. Yeah. It's like bourbon soaked cherries. Yeah. I mean, that's all and I that's, think of. That's, that's, that's probably wraps it up right there. <laughs> bourbon I mean, soaked really, cherries, that's what yeah. it smells like. You know, I mean, it's it has that dark fruit thing going mm -hmm. on, but the, I think the cherries are noticeable. Yeah. I really and I notice there. on the bottle, one thing I, I'm making me appreciate more, it says this beer was aged in those barrels for at least 18 months. Yes. Right. And I feel like that's one thing that a few, that a, a a handful of breweries do is they don't give the beers enough time to develop in the barrel. Mm -hmm. They pull them out a little early. And, you know, Hair of the Dog, you know, a few other select breweries that really leave those beers in. Even Voodoo, the new Voodoo beers that long came out. Time. I mean, they were in those barrels for a long time. And yeah. it really, you can notice it. You can Absolutely. tell. You can definitely tell when the oh, beers yeah. had time to mature in those barrels. So. Cheers, Cheers guys. Wow. Woo. That's a big beer. Dude, look at the alcohol on the glass. The legs I mean, you legs. can tell this baby is 13%. <laughs> you could taste it too, but mm -hmm. you know, ironically, I get an alcohol flavor, but I don't get a burn. Not I don't get much. a big burn. Yeah. I get follows like the, the nose, I think. Bourbon soaked cherries. I get a little more wood on the taste. A little wood and I'm getting a little it's like a buttery. I, I agree with you. Um there's definitely a more oaky flavor mm. on the taste. That yeah. was the first thing I noticed. Yeah, big oak on the top. Nice the sweetness, but not, not over the top. I mean, it's uh, not yeah. cloying at all. It's like the dark fruit sweetness and maybe a, almost like a caramel. Mm -hmm. It's like a caramel sweetness to it. Burnt sugar, maybe? Yeah, I get a, I get a ton of cherries, bourbon, a nice oak wood tannin flavor. Mm. It's nice and low carb. I mean, I'm sure but you can there. see these yeah. rings. There's a little carb in this. Oh, mm -hmm. because what was it? Bourbon Fred of the Wood had I mean, it several flat. times. It, it, dead it's, flat. It's dead flat. flat. This there is, is some carbonation to this. There beer. is. It's on the low side. It is. But low. at least they it's got good. some. You know, like I feel like it's appropriate for it's this beer. Perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I am loving this beer mm -hmm. and I love a lot of things about it I like that peach flavor cherries bourbon I love the aroma on it the aroma is what sets it yeah. off I mean that huge bourbon and cherries and then you get a lot more complexity out of the flavor though you get some of those wood tannins the peaches and you still get those cherries and bourbon yeah, I'm loving it low carb and it's doing it right 4.75 for me. All right, well, I don't do this very often, but I think we have to give this one 5.0. Ooh, wow. This is, uh, this is amazing. I mean, everything about this, you know, it's just from the aroma and uh, just the sweetness, you know, mm -hmm. that it, the alcohol bites that down a little bit. Just a perfect amount of com uh, uh, carbonation. Um, real complex. I mean, it so is. many different flavors you can pick out. And the flavor, 
you know, it doesn't follow the nose completely. Like you say, no. there's a, you can smell the cherries, but when you taste it, there's a little bit of the oak mm -hmm. and a little bit of the peaches, a little that sweetness that comes out. And tell me this thing isn't drinking smooth for 13%. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm mean, telling you what. Yeah, I, I got to give this a 5.0. All right, well, it looks like Dave split the difference on us. I'm going to go down just a little bit. I'm going to give it a four and a half. That still puts it in the elite level. Oh, absolutely. And I do think this is an elite beer. And, you know, some of the complaints on this beer are that it's too boozy, it's too hot. I don't see it. I just don't <laughs> no. see it. And I don't find it boozy at all. Me no, neither. As a matter of fact. Me neither. No. And um, the other thing I really like about this beer is I like Fred. But I think this is a huge improvement on Fred. Yeah. I like Adam a lot better than I like too. Fred. And the peaches, the cherries, the 18 months in the barrels, I mean, this is drinking right. Right, right, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to go 4.5, but it's an amazing beer. So until next time, guys. Cheers. Cheers.